Hi, this is the Science Chef. Based on popular demand, we promise to start making videos on physics tutorials this year. So today we are starting a series on projectiles motion for the next three weeks. And in this video, we'll be learning about the principles of projectiles motion with examples of projectiles and types of projections. If you want to know more about projectiles, ensure you watch this video to the end. Projectiles are objects or bodies launched into the air by an external force and allowed to move freely under the influence of gravity and air resistance. Projectile motion on the other hand is the motion of objects launched into the air that move through a parabolic or curved path. The parabolic path moved by a projectile is known as a trajectory. Examples of projectiles or objects that undergo projectile motion are a thrown javelin, a bullet released from a gun, a football kicked into the air, a tennis ball bouncing off the wall, etc. However, there are some objects launched into the air which have a motive power of their own and their motion is not affected by the force of gravity. Such objects are not considered as projectiles. Examples are intercontinental ballistic missiles used in warfare, space rockets and air balloons. These objects can be remotely controlled to get to their target destinations with the force of gravity having no effect on them. Hence, they are not projectiles. The three types of projections we'll be considering in this lesson are vertical projection, horizontal projection and angular projection. A body said to undergo vertical projection when thrown vertically upward into the air it falls back freely downwards under the influence of gravity and air resistance as shown in the image on the screen. An example of objects that undergo vertical projection can be anything thrown upward like a stone, ball, etc. When the body is thrown upwards, it leaves with its maximum initial velocity. As it goes upwards, it moves against the force of gravity so its velocity decreases at a steady rate of about 10 meters per second until it gets to its highest height h, where its final velocity becomes zero. At this point, its motion path is reversed as it starts coming down. Its initial velocity for the downward motion will be equal to the final velocity for the upward motion, which is zero. As the body comes down, it moves in the same direction as the force of gravity, so its velocity keeps increasing at a steady rate of about 10 meters per second until it hits the ground with a maximum velocity, which is the same as that with which it was launched into the air. We will learn more about vertical projection or free fall motion in our next tutorial. A body set to undergo horizontal projection when it is thrown horizontally from a height with an initial velocity ux. As long as the motion of the body remains horizontal, its velocity will not change because in that direction, the effect of gravity on the object is zero. So its velocity will only change when it starts descending, in which case the motion of the object changes from horizontal to vertical. In horizontal projections, the trajectory followed by the object is always an arc or part of a parabola. When a body is launched into the air, inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal, it is said to undergo an angular projection. In this case, the body undergoes two independent motions at any point in time, the horizontal and vertical motions. Therefore, its velocity u is always resolved into two components the horizontal component u cos theta and the vertical component u sin theta. We will learn more about angular projection in the third part of this series. Endeavor to keep a date. If you were able to learn anything from this video, kindly drop a comment, give us a like, share the video and subscribe to our channel to encourage us to do more videos like this. Remember, champions are not those who never fail, but those who never quit. So stay on top till I see you when I'll see you.